Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an update on the Isogenics shake diet that I did. I've had quite a few people asking me about how it went, you know, what happened because I did go a bit quiet with my videos and didn't do what I had planned. Um, so basically the Isogenics diet is a shake for breakfast, a shake for lunch and then a healthy dinner and two healthy snacks in the day so like a boiled egg ham nuts there's a list of kind of healthy things you can have um, I was really excited to try it many of my friends were doing it and getting great results which is kind of this that's why I did it I thought well wow look at those results they're getting um, they're sleeping better more energy I thought it would help with my gym workouts if you know me well you know that I'm in the gym almost daily during the week um, you know love being fit and healthy so I thought well let's give it a go I did have a little bit of body fat that I wanted to shift and yeah that was my reason for kind of starting so I managed to do three weeks you had a whole sort of 30 day pack I did three weeks in total now to start with yeah it was hard um, I had to suddenly stop drinking caffeine um, you know and cutting out the rubbish and thinking about what I'm eating so before I was kind of <laughs> Thanks, Sam. Um, yeah, so whereas before I was just thinking, oh, well, I'll have some chicken and whatever for lunch, and oh, there's a packet of crisps, I'll just have that the afternoon, oh, I'll have a cup of tea, oh, I'll have that with a biscuit. Um, I was thinking about it more, and when I'm busy, okay, I felt, oh, you feel hungry, but it keeps your mind off of the food. So anyway, the first few days, were okay actually I didn't feel as bad as I thought but I had a really bad headache from not drinking caffeine um, when I got to about day five I mean I really started to feel terrible absolutely terrible and the only time I've ever felt almost as bad as that was when I was on a diet prepping for a bikini competition and I was feeling how I was feeling when I was prepping for the bikini competition because I was starving my body of carbs not starving is probably the wrong word but I was not eating much in the way of carbs it was a lot more protein and small meals lots of meals throughout the day um, so that's what made me feel bad now I had that same feeling on the isogenic so they say the person who sold me the product said any problems you know give me a message if you're struggling give me a message so I sent her a message and I was like look I'm feeling terrible and it's from lack of carbs you know food I've got no energy and she said to me, oh, you're toxic, your body's really toxic, it's getting rid of all the toxins, which to me, I just think that's a load of because that's never what I've been told or taught or my knowledge that is not toxic. No, it's starving your body. So I didn't really like that. Um, that didn't sit right with me, I thought I was being told a little bit of porky really it's basically my body getting used to it not eating all the food it was you know I was restricting what I was eating um, and don't get me wrong probably after a week just over a week the shake for breakfast shake for lunch a healthy dinner and then snacks sort of every two hours between those times I did get used to it but I was lying in bed at night and my stomach was growling and my husband Damien was saying what's that noise and I was like that's my stomach I'm starving so I was going to bed really early drinking loads of water but it wasn't really helping you know I was still hungry so hungry now the thing that really did it for me negative was a cleanse day on a cleanse day you have a total of 116 ml of a juice to drink excuse me as well as the snack they suggest one quarter of an apple as a snack throughout the day that is it so the first cleanse day I did I was motivated you know that first week you ha you're feeling like motivated happy excited to see the results and how you're gonna do so I was really positive you know and I did it by midday on a cleanse day I was I was feeling awful I cannot really explain how awful I was feeling to the point where you know they say being overweight is hard losing weight is hard choose your hard well at that point I was thinking do you know what this isn't healthy eating making you feel good um, it's just went against everything I've ever done before um, it, it, it wasn't sitting right with me it was making me binge um, which that's a personal problem for me 
um, binging, it, it wasn't helping with that. So if you're a binger, a cleanse day is just gonna make you want to binge. And you, I was so hungry, I didn't care what I was eating. It could have been a bag of salad. I was eating it, it was just bin anything, just food. I needed some energy. I couldn't go to the gym at all. Like I was someone who went to the gym every single day and lifted weights for an hour, five days a week. I couldn't do that, so I stopped going to the gym for three weeks. Um, I wasn't sleeping better, I was moody, I wasn't probably very nice to be around, short temper, you know, all those things that lack of food and not eating properly, properly it makes you feel. Um, and by that point, I think I got to week three, I was on a cleanse day, which is the worst anyway. Um, my husband did it as well, but he was a week behind me, so he was probably at two weeks. And we just looked at each other and said, should we get a Domino's? And we ordered a, dom a Domino's pizza, and that was the end of that was the end of it. And we actually spoke to the company and said, explained how you know how I felt. My husband said he felt the same. I don't know if he was quite as bad, but we did get our money back. I don't know if they always do that, and we did have to ring up and complain, and it's quite a long process. We did get our money back, um, which is probably a good thing. But you know, it didn't work for me. I didn't lose any weight. I did my measurements like it told, tells you to. There's like a little chart in the back and you can write your weights and do your measurements every, like one, day three, day nine, day 12, day 20, kind of like that. Do you know what, I didn't lose any inches. I didn't lose any weight. Not that weight is an issue for me, but as in, weight's a funny one. I don't believe the scales are a true indication of being healthy and losing body fat because muscle weighs heavier than fat. But instead of getting into that, I was kind of, you know, I was gauging how my clothes felt. My jeans were still tight. My stomach was still so bloated. It just, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, the diets I'm used to are kind of more bodybuilding style diet, which is sort of chicken and rice and veggies and fruit and, you know, six small, smaller meals um, throughout the day. And those type of diets, I don't feel as hungry. I always lose weight. I can sleep good, I can work out in the gym and lose body fat. It's provided me, you know, that for me is much better, which is what I've gone back on to. Um, and within two to three days, the bloat is gone, I'm feeling better, the trousers feel better, things like that. So isogenics, my personal view and how, what happened to me, I don't like it, I wouldn't recommend it. It costs a lot of money really, and you still have to buy your evening meal. I think the 30 day initial weight loss plan was 300 pounds well you still have to buy your snacks egg ham whatever you want snacks nuts and your evening meal chicken rice and veg which is what i would have been eating anyway but throughout the day not just you know the shakes i hope this is making sense so for me no i wouldn't recommend it i didn't get on with it um you probably seen my taste reactions. Um, and I actually stopped videoing. I was gonna video every day to show my journey, but I stopped doing it because I felt so terrible that I couldn't pick up the camera to video. I looked miserable, sounded miserable. I even picked up the camera at one point and I was just, what do I say? I'm feeling awful. I've still got a headache. I've got no energy. I'm starving hungry. I think I videoed my stomach rumbling at one point and I just thought, do you know what? I can't upload that to YouTube. I'll kind of, you know, I'll leave it, see if I get over that and it gets better and then maybe start videoing again, but it didn't get better. Um, so I stopped videoing. So this is kind of a long sort of rambling on video. I hope I've kind of answered some questions for you. Um, if you do have any other questions, just pop them in the comments below and I can answer, I'll try and answer them, you know, in the comments. Um, and we'll go from there. But nah, my honest opinion is no, don't waste your money. Just go out and buy yourself healthy oats for breakfast, chicken and fish, um, rice, meat. You know, you can have, there's so many healthier options and, you know, fruits and vegetables, you know, that are good for you, that you can get all these minerals in. I, It's just another gimmick thing to me. And it reminded me of kind of like the slim fast plan, a shake for breakfast, one for lunch and a proper dinner. It's the same thing. And no, not for me. And I actually haven't come across anybody else who's had the same experience as me, which kind of made me feel bad because I was really hoping it would work. It worked for my friends and everybody else. One of my friends in particular has got nothing but good things to say about it and she's still on it on sort of the weight maintenance thing and she's still doing it and she says it's helped her a lot with healthier choices and everything else. So I can only tell you my personal 
thoughts on it and what happened to me and yeah that's it guys so thanks for sticking with me sorry it's a ramble if you do have questions leave them down below and I will try my best to answer them but I hope it helps